Well, welcome back to Base Camp WNC. I'm shooting this video for one person in mind. And what we've got here is a 6,000 watt inverter here. And this thing's almost like that all in one box I sell. It doesn't have a solar charger in it. So, what this whole system is, is to take a 220 well pump off grid. Now, this is the main panel for their house. This is the main panel for the guest cottage. And this is their needed necessary uh, power supply. Uh, this is the disconnect for their generator. So when something happens, they lose power. Generator kicks in, runs everything in this box. And that's all the well pump and everything else. But they wanted to be able to do it without the using the generator so much so what this is this is all the lights in the kitchen and the furnace and stuff like that but what we've done pump line comes in here and this cord right here that we have plugged into this one this right here runs ac power from the grid or through the generator and the grid so we plug the well into that when this system's up and running tomorrow Here's the inverter, comes out through a breaker panel. We've got a 220 breaker and another 15 amp one right there. But then that plug will go into here. And at that point in time, it runs off this box and everything is solar. Now this box right here, like I said, is 6,000 watts. It's got 30 amps coming out both legs. So it's more than enough. This thing right here has an AC priority on it, a PV priority, so it'll go off the grid as a priority, solar as a priority, or intelligent mode. Uh, so soon as the grid goes down, it'll switch over to battery supply right here in the battery box. And when it comes back on, it'll either switch back up if it stays in PV, if it it's been snowing too long and the batteries don't get charged up enough. That box will automatically switch back over to the grid. There's a grid feed in here. That's the grid feed wire into this thing. So it's a pretty handy little setup. If we get this thing done, I'll get you a little bit closer. Well, of course, as usual, I started building before I started filming. But before I put this last panel on, this is a thousand watts of solar for this little water pump system. But we're just using Unistrut that you can get at any place. And these are four inch standoffs. Now, they are lag screw straight into the roof joist. We got a double sided perma seal between the leg and the roof. And then we put roof cement around it just so I can get that black, nasty stuff all over me. But they're made, to, they're bolted down right through the unistrut and then you just use standard clips this is just a standard mid clip right there see if i can get it without all the sunshine and got mid clips there and then on the very far end you have an adjustable end clip to bolt down and it's about as most economical way you can put it on well there it is thousand watts pushing into this little inverter just for the well wanted to show you these are the standoffs i was using this is a four inch they come four six and eight now i've machined these notches in here and what that does that lets you then slide it down in the unistrut and then that provides you a good flat surface right there to bolt them to. Very cheap, very economical. And like I said, this thing right here, got a grip surface on the bottom. We use double-sided roof seal and tape and then put some of that black nasty roof cement on it. I'm not really crazy about roof mounted solar in Western North Carolina just because of snow on the roof. It's kind of hard to get them clean so but this is an alternative and they're about seven dollars a piece something like that counting shipping and all uh, on amazon well we got the system up and running 
So let's go over it. This is not the all-in-one box. This one here, kind of like shore power for a boat or an RV camper. You can plug it into the grid. You can have solar. It'll go back and forth. But what we've got here is 6,000 watts, 220, split phase. And all of this is to run solar powered to be able to run the well pump 220 split phase off grid of course it comes out of the inverter goes to a 220 breaker right here now is the well pump wire we have a receptacle here for grid power or they can unplug it and plug it in there this one here is their essential needs for their generator they have a great big disconnect here automatic start generator but this is the breakers they need in the house this is the ac power that goes into that unit if you want to run off an of ac mode this breaker here just runs the receptacle so what it can do right here see if we can wake up there's the solar it's up on the roof it's charging the battery's 100 percent right now there's no load because nothing's on it we have a solar disconnect down here we have a ventilation fan that when we close this thing up we'll run 24 hours a day to pull air through the box and there it is it'll run off of now this box right here doesn't have a charge a solar charge controller in it so you need to use a separate charge controller for solar. But then it'll go between battery mode and solar mode or generator mode, depending on where you have it set. And that's it. This box right here is about $1,000. Uh, and then you just keep adding on for everything else and the solar panels and wiring and everything else. But now their 220 well pump is off grid that's what they wanted to do and that's what they got so if you're interested in a system like this uh, i can help you design it you can put it in yourself or we can come build it for you we can set it up give you a list of suppliers don't hesitate to ask give me a contact that's what we do here but as usual like it share it subscribe tell your friends about it i'll see you on the next one